Shall we sing the best Disney princess song of all time? <laughs> am I right or am I right? Hi everyone! I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to sing part of your world just like Jodie Benson did in The Little Mermaid. A lot of the same things we've been talking about, enunciation and the brightness of the vocal and some of the talk singing. Look at this stuff! Isn't it neat? Now Ariel has the same clear open vowels. Her voice is beautiful and clear as a bell. One thing that she does at the ends of the big phrases is holding out a straight tone and then bringing in the vibrato. This is a very typical musical theater tip, but it's a very classic Disney princess as well. There's also a brightness to the vocal. She's got everything. And really what I'm doing is singing with a little bit more of a spread space. As a voice teacher, I normally recommend long, tall vowels, but for a Disney princess, we're a little bit brighter and like you're singing in your smile. She's got everything! Also, Jodi is right on the rhythm. So nothing is too poppy, it's very clear and very straight. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. Also, every Disney princess seems to be overly happy. <laughs> so if you can add a little bit of a giggle in some of your lines. You want thingamabobs? I got 20! Wow. There's also a lot of hard R's in this song. This is a technique that some people just don't like, but it is very classic Disney princess. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word? You're going right for that hard R. So if you were singing classically, what's the word, you'd have a more open vowel. But for a Disney princess, she really enunciates and uses the hard R's. So at the end of the song, which everyone thinks is really belty, you can actually cheat and go into your head voice. She does that and it sounds pretty seamless. Think about singing up here, like we talked about in my last voice lesson, into your head voice and just making that seamless transition. So when she goes for that big note at the end, there's definitely a holdout of the straight tone into a vibrato. Love to explore that shore above. So see, I did a straight tone into the vibrato and that was all in my head voice. And nothing adds a little Disney drama like the talk whisper. Out of the sea, wish I could be. That's the best part. We all love that part, am I right? Hi. 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 Was Mama singing? Cantando? I'm dressed like the mermaid, remember? She's definitely got that bright vocal. Part of that. When you're trying to achieve that brighter sound, part of that is how I sing normally. Part of that. It's just really feeling like a lift in there, singing into that smile. And there's a little bit of a nasal sound. And of course, the end note is held out for a while without that vibrato, and then the vibrato comes in naturally. Part of that world. And you could hear it in your head going doo doo doo. -doo. Thanks for watching and let me know if I was one of your favorite Disney princesses. Now if you want to check out my version of Part of Your World, I actually recorded that last year with Nathan so you can check it out here. Let me know if you'd like me to give you a tutorial on how to sing like some of the other Disney princesses. Leave those comments down below and I will see you all next week. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has